Hi everyone. So, this is a big saw. This is my steel 045 AV. It's a 75cc professional saw, vintage saw. I think it was made in uh, mid 70s, 75. It's got a 25 inch steel uh, hard nose or a solid tip bar on it, solid nose bar. And I've got it up for spares or repair. The chain's fully adjusted out now, but it still slacks. So I'm, I'm reluctant to cut with it. Um, I don't think it's safe to cut with it when it's quite that loose. Somebody else has told me yesterday that they cut with them like that and it's absolutely fine. You get that with the bigger chains, but that's something I'm not familiar with. So I'm not gonna do that, but I'll certainly show a video of it starting and running. It's got massive compression. It starts beautifully, idles perfectly. Um, so it's a beautiful old saw. When I finish doing the starting, I'll do a little walk around with the camera, take off the side cover, and when I went to the steel dealers uh, the last couple of days and I took the saw in, they could not believe how incredibly clean this saw is. So I bought some new steel friction plates for the starter. They're notorious for, for wearing out. You get a, an unusual set of uh, fiber washers which are they they're kind of shaped on a shaft and they tend to wear out and you get funny starting issues so it's got it's got a brand new uh, set of those in there basically as well as a carburetor gasket kit new plug and it runs you know how as it should so i'll do a quick demo of it starting it's hard to find out where i'm actually in frame with this saw it's so big I did look, and I, I'm, I'm in two minds as to whether or not to buy chains. You can actually buy the Wartec chains for it, which um, they seem to have a good reputation. And there's one of the eBay vendors is now doing two 25-inch Wartec chains for £20 for a pair. So um, I guess it depends what type of feedback I get from people. If they really need to see it running, perhaps I'll just buy the chains. Um, I'll highlight the only damage I found on the saw is there's a, a tiny crack on the, on the lid for the oil filler. There's no oil leaking out, but just to be aware of it. Okay, and the kill switch. I haven't investigated, but I might just check that because they are, the kill switch arrangement on these, I believe is the same as the, the 07 and the 08, so they have a little boot and a little Mel pin pushes up into the back and they tend to corrode and that might just be stopping that, but okay. So, choke. stop it with the choke but if I have a chance I might just investigate the I might investigate the just the kill switch connection as that's the the only thing which isn't functioning okay I'll lift the camera up and just show people a quicker walk around so kill switch arrangement choke Throttle lock, all working well. See the chain drips on the oil from the wheeler working. Pelling spikes just doesn't look as though it's done any work at all. The saw. You often see these with badly broken handles really bad on on the underside it has none of that none of that war type of war wounds or battle scars 
just rotate it around. Just pull that out. Okay. And so here. Very clean side casing. You see the slack on the chain. Bar itself appears to be in good condition. Genuine steel bar. I'm trying to make out the the numbers in case they're relevant pe for people. If it's if you need that, I can always put the part number into the listing. And lastly, take the quick release cover off. So the metal air filter, as you can see, is looks undamaged and in very good condition. I hope you can see inside here. I've got the the light on on the camera. Let's try to highlight it. It's just in beautiful, beautiful condition. Right. Okay, I'll quickly put the cover on, do a quick restart. I hope that that'll be suitable for one of you out there. So I think they said that these, when I spoke to the, the steel dealer, you can run up to a 25 inch bar, although it feels like it would probably cope with more than that, but, and then between a 16 and 25 inch bar. Restart. So I hope that highlights throttle response is excellent and it's really just a very beautiful old saw. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hope that's suitable for one of you out there. And likewise, if anybody wants to come out and check the saw over and take a look at it, just message me and you're more than welcome to come and take a look. But it really is in beautiful, beautiful original condition. Thanks for watching.